Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. So it is finally Friday, which means it is time for our give back. Remember from the video that we posted on the first of the month, we are gonna go ahead and pick one random comment with our random comment generator. They are gonna win a $25 gift card. We are also doing a second drawing for any of the players that do have a membership to our channel. So we're giving a total of $50 back for this month for our give back. In addition, we are almost to 10,000 subscribers, which is going to be a big give back because that is our 10,000 subscriber mark. So let's go ahead and get into the gift card give backs. So here we are at the random comment picker. So we dropped our URL right into here. So we'll go ahead and we will get our YouTube comments. I'm not exactly sure how many there are, 200, 300, 400, 402 unique comments there so very very cool we will start the raffle and pick a random winner so let's go ahead and see who we choose for this month's give back it's going through all the names 402 comments and the winner is sep with rolling so look at that sep congratulations you do receive a 25 dollars gift card go ahead and drop your email address in the comment that you left on the video that way i can get that card for you Every month we're doing a give back. We are also doing a second additional give back to anyone who has a membership on this channel. So we're doing one $25 gift card for the comment, one $25 gift card for the membership. And this week's member of the month is member number 11. So this one we do a random number generator. I actually have all of my membership in a little spreadsheet. And number 11 is Speedy the Lagger. So congratulations to Sep and Speedy for both of the gift cards. Go ahead and contact me and I will get to them ASAP. And thank you guys for all of the comments, love and support on YouTube. So now we're gonna take a quick look at the Misty Valley. So we are on the Light Bear account. So the Misty Valley is up. This is the second time that we've run it. They have made a lot of adjustments and tweaks to the Misty Valley, which we'll talk about real quick. Um, make sure that you are running the Misty Valley. As you can see, depending on the chapter that you have completed, you can go ahead and unlock the treasure trove, which will allow you to choose what treasure you want, including hero rewards if you're done with 29. As you can see, the stone challenge, you have a ton of resources. The silver allows you to get a lot of elite and rare heroes in here. And the final gold one is, of course, all of our Poe coins. So definitely focusing on the challenge. If you don't want to do the Misty Valley, at least bare minimum do the stone challenge. So looking here, achieve a victory in battle. All you have to do is beat the stage. Even if you cannot beat the stage, you can request help from another player and they can provide the ability to beat the stone challenge so you can go through the Misty Valley itself and get that final reward. So as you see, we have a bunch of different stages. Stage three, they have decreased the difficulty of these stages. They used to require five heroes of the same faction. So let's look at this one here. Achieve victory with four light bears. This one was five light bears before. Achieve victory without any tank in support. Um, the dimensional and the hypogen ones have been reduced to four heroes as well, which makes them achievable. The maulers, again, four heroes as well, meaning that you can put in the fifth key hero regardless of who he is if you don't have all of the heroes built. In addition, as you can see, this opens in five days. So instead of doing one stage every day, Lilith has done the first 10 stages and in seven days, they will release the second 10 stages. So let's go ahead and look at the big treasure chest right here, which is the treasure trove. So looking at the first little one, um, this I would always go hero essence. Gold, you get an abundance of. Hero EXP with AFK rewards, you get pretty good. Hero Essence for most players is very, very difficult to come by, especially with the Hero Wall. The second chest here, um, Diamonds, we do get, again, an abundance. Guild Coin does come with time. We do have them pretty easy to get. However, the Twisted Essence, very difficult. You get a little bit, a little amount every other day. If you're not running Source, if you don't have a built team, Twisted Essence is what you want to go for. This one, I would do the elite stones, even though I like the rare stones, if you need fodder across all of your factions, or if you're a little bit earlier game, which I believe on this one, you have to be chapter 19. 
Um, blue stone is an option. Here as well, I would either go with the Elite Stone because Elite Stone is going to give you a guaranteed hero where your regular common scrolls will not. Also, pull coins. So depending where you're at, if you're at a point where you're building heroes with furniture, your 1,000 pull coins will be over the Elite. Even though pulling an Elite hero, it could be a solid hero. It could be a Taylene, it could be a Mizoth, it could be a Mahira, um, could be a very prime hero. Looking here, Primordial and Amplifying Emblems you can buy. Pole Coins you can buy. Red Chests are the rarity. So make sure any choice that you can pick Red Chests, make sure you're picking those up. This chest has Tier 1 Stones, so depending where you're at Tier 1 Stones, pick them up if you can. If you have the Tier 2 Stones, definitely pick those up. Pole Coins are a good choice as well. Um, but overall, I would go with the tier two stones because having your gear at a higher tier level makes a huge, huge difference. But again, if you're focused on furniture, definitely go for the pole coins because you can stock up some pole coins at this point um, of the treasure trove within the Misty Valley. So looking at our next chest here, which is very, very easy, similar to our, our fifth chest, red chests are the priority getting the plus 20 and higher signature items. Remember, the red chests do contain um, emblems that allow heroes to go higher than a plus 20 signature item, which is a primary focus out of the events. With our final chest that we can choose here, again, pole coins or elite stones, it's kind of a toss up between those. Even if we did all three elite stones, that'll give us three elites. Again, it could be a Taylene, it could be a Mahira, it could be a hero that is very, very difficult to get. But in the same respect, it could be a Hogan. Um, it could be just straight up fodder that you're receiving. So pole coins are going to be guaranteed when you do your pull with the elite stones. Ch chances are you could definitely get something else. So it's kind of a toss up between those, like I said, on personal preference, because on my main account where I continue to get more and more five star heroes, um, the elite stones become a little less more little less important where the pole coins have more benefit just because I'm at the point of the game where I'm building furniture for multiple heroes across multiple factions including the celestials the hypogens and the dimensional heroes so let's go ahead and look at the first stage here like we had said earlier this is the light bearer account meaning that the bare minimum that you have to do is defeat the stage um, I've ran this common team, I will run the Light Bearer team through all that I can, try to finish the faction ones that I can, um, the Maulers, the Graveborn, the other faction achievements. If I cannot finish them, bare minimum finishing the stone challenge is 100% what you want to focus on. Here with first shot, we had five Light Bearers, we finished all three of our achievements, meaning we opened the stone and the silver and the gold door together. So we'll pick up some pole coins. We will pick up a little bit of resources here, which is a little bit of gold. And then of course, we're gonna pick up a couple stones. So again, making sure you're doing the Misty Valley. I know some of the comments we heard yesterday were people just avoiding the Misty Valley. Do not avoid it. Stone challenge, absolutely minimum to go ahead and continue and finish the Misty Valley because of the resources and the rewards that you will get from it. So let me know in the comments below what you think. I absolutely love that they're doing the Misty Valley again. I love all the rewards. We completely cleaned it out on my pay to win account last time. So again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Congratulations to all of our winners, Speedy the Lagger and Sap. Go ahead and contact me and I will get those gift cards to you. And as always, thank you guys for watching.